Hello and welcome back to another video. I am still in Okinawa and I'm gonna go to a very special restaurant and you can already see the poster here behind me. It is a Buku Buku Cha restaurant. It's a special Okinawan tea and I'm gonna show you what it's all about. So if you like tea and if you like local food, then this video is one for you. And if you're visiting Naha, you might wonder where this tea house is. It's just over here and it's super easily reachable as Naha town is tiny. You will find out when you're here. You can really easily walk from one side of town to the other in 20 minutes. So don't worry about having to go too far. This one is easily walkable. And with that, I'm gonna head inside. So come with me and we are gonna check out this special tea house gallery. Located in the Tsuboya Pottery Street, this cafe and gallery is the perfect place to try this Okinawan local specialty and it's also great if you are interested in buying some pottery or some ceramic arts. The cafe is extremely spacious and open plan and there's even some seats outside so let's grab this one. So I just sat down in the cafe and I'm here to drink the buku buku tea and I'm showing you this now in the menu just over here. So let me have a look. And yes, first page, this is exactly what we're gonna order, the buku buku cha. But there is plenty of other things. They have desserts, they have cake sets, among many other things. So you can definitely find something. But again, the specialty here is the buku buku cha. So let's order this one and see what we will get. And after just a little wait, here comes our tea and doesn't it look amazing? Now, the buku buku cha, similar to the tea ceremony in Kyoto, it's very traditional and dates back to the Meiji period. However, during the Second World War, that tradition was almost lost and has only been recently revitalized. So it is really great to see them on so many menus here in Okinawa. But now, let's go back to the tea and just look at these bubbles. The tea is actually a mixture between roasted rice and jasmine or other flavors, but that really depends on the shop, with the bubbles being whisked separately and then placed on top. And it comes with a side of some traditional Okinawan sweets, as you can see them here. The chinsuko, the kumpan and the chirunko, and I can't wait to try them. It comes with instructions which is kind of cool. So it is a way to drink it. And let me see how I need to do this. So this looks pretty straightforward and bonus points because it's all in English. So let's see how we gonna do this. Okay, so we're holding it and then we have to bow once. So hold it and then... Then try to take a sip of both the tea and the bubbles. Mm. Oh, it's on my nose. <laughs> Not supposed to do that. So itadakimasu. Let's try the treats. So this one here is with peanuts. Mmm. Mm. This is very good. Mm. With the tea. No. Mushi. Happy. But there's more. There's this. Mm. Mm. This is nice. It's a bit like a shortbread cookie. I love this. Very familiar. Mm. And the last one. This one here. Looks a bit like a sponge cake, right? Mm. Mm. And it also tastes like a sponge cake. I like this. Mm. Nice trio. And I guess now 
all I have to do is relax, drink my tea with my bubbles and I do like to use a spoon. I just love how foamy this is. It's perfect. So, mm, super, super nice. So if you do come here, then please, please, please come and visit one of these cafes. And with that, I'm gonna drink the rest of my tea and eat my biscuits. But I just wanna make sure if you get a chance to come to Naha, make sure you try this Buku Buku tea because this one is a real surprise and I really, really love it. And I'm gonna say my goodbyes now. So I see you soon, bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> mm -hmm. So good.